here's my bike, and I want to tell all my friends out there that uh, even knowing so much about these little deals, or Honda Elites as they're called here in the United States, the body style is just a little bit different. But I learned something new yesterday that absolutely amazed me. Okay, now on the pipe that was getting way too loud, and I was losing power because I thought that uh, with the with the muffler here clogged up, that the gases were just going straight on through to the other side. Okay, and it was really loud. Now, what I did was I took off the three little nuts right here. I popped the canister off, and then I just tapped on the end of this on the ground, and this uh, silver part right here, this just pop. This will just pop right out. And then after you get in there, there's a, a piece of matting or um, uh, it looks like fiberglass or some kind of silence here matting. There's about a foot of it. And there's a little pipe about this big in it, in the middle, with all kinds of teeny holes in it. So I took the matting out and I soaked it in a... Let's see, what, I, what the hell do I do with that? Uh, I soaked it in a, um, a cat box like thing. Anyway, I soaked it with gas and then I would take it out and take the, uh, uh, the mat and wring it out, stick it back in the, the gas and keep wringing it out. Then I would change the gas and put an, uh, a little bit of fresh gas in the bottom of it, or petrol, whatever the hell you call it in your country. Then, I, uh, um, after I did all that to get rid of the gas fumes, I put a little uh, TSP in the... Uh, um, it, with water, it's trisodium phos phosphate, you can buy it at any paint store. I put it in the bottom of the little cat box thing to get the fumes out. Then I rewrapped, um, and the little pipe here has, they have little tiny like hooks in here right in the center so that the matting will, will grab onto it. Then you, you just roll it tight in, uh, under this, and you push it all the way back in here, and this, this pops out right here, you put the screws back on, you're done. But for any of you that have your pipe is getting really loud and you have this type of removable muffler and you don't think you're getting the power, I got a 20% power increase. I am not kidding you. I couldn't believe it. I took it out yesterday and this thing is pulling wheelies. Even with my 220 pounds, I don't know what you call it, 100 kilo fat ass. So. That was something something I learned. Now with the Fongier, um, I don't think those those are all those are all enclosed pipes. You can't do it with them. But for this model right here, I'd say once every hail 500 miles, take it off and clean it. Because you got to remember your two stroke your two stroke oil goes through that. Whatever it's done, it's either done two things. It's either made the air flow better through the pipe or what it's done is the sound diffuser and all the little holes make the uh, air slow down in the pipe and hold the vibration longer uh, the resonance for the um, expansion chamber of supercharging effect but whatever it's done it, it's make it's a lot quieter um, which I want it, I want it, I want it loud, but there's a point where it's just too loud, and uh, there's no noise restrictions. No cops will ever pull me over. No, no cop in the United States will ever pull over a moped and go into court and say, "Your Honor, we got him for reckless driving on this scooter." He'd get laughed out of court, out of the police force, in a heartbeat. And besides, when I'm going by so fast, they kind of look at me like. No, it can't be. They can't go that fast. There's, well, I must be having a flashback or something. or Because uh, it just doesn't work that way. I've taken off my water injection for this year. I, I'm going to work on another... I'm going to work on steam injection. That's a finer mist. But that's a whole nother... That's, that'll be in the, in the winter. The blue's holding up really well. And I'm going to go out and test drive it and see what's going on. Also I put in a 
switch right here. This is a little uh, micro switch for uh, uh, using my electric guitars. And what this this turns the water pumps on and off, so that I know they're on and off. Okay, I'm gonna go post this. And that's just uh, something I learned today.